Hello everyone, welcome back to Shadows of Valencia. I'm here with Mecha and I'm here with Bismix. Hey guys. Hey, today we're going to the brigands in the Fleecers forests. And uh, we're gonna kick their butt and we're gonna train our villagers and we're gonna have a lot of fun. I think. Yep. I think, I think yeah, this is how you move. Okay. An enemy <laughs> squad awaits. Engage. I was like, I don't know if this is me or like I thought it like in Super Mario you have to like click on it or something to go yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was thinking. Was kind of stuck yeah. on that for a while. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. It's like one of those super embarrassing things where you're like, oh, this is how you do the most basic control in the game, right? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Got it. You're stuck on the tutorial. Yeah. Exactly. Hold everyone. What is it, Lucas? Hmm. More brigands? It seems the rumors were no exaggeration. Based on their numbers, I surmise they must have a hideout nearby. But we can ill afford to pick fights with every cut person rogue we encounter. Let's sit back and lay low until they depart. Did you get a look at the wench we nabbed this morning? Hooey! God, I really need that replay button. <laughs> I really need it now. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly add some color to that run-down old shrine. <laughs> She's prettier than the boss, that's for sure. What? They've taken a prisoner? Um, let's just be calm. Um, um, wait, don't. Um, no. Um, yes. Calm, um. <laughs> um, yes. Great. Hold it, you lecherous pigs. Huh? Who the hell are you? Release the woman you're holding at once or else. <laughs> or else what? You must really want a knife in the belly if you're slinging taunts of the likes of us. Oh, so much for laying low. Two arms, everyone. Let's go. Let's go fight Ooh. brigands. Ooh. Yeah. Look over there. They have an archer. Oh no, not an archer. That's a threat. Distance, so we must plan our approach carefully. Whoever goes after him needs to finish him quickly or be ready for a reprisal. If you're not strong enough to take an arrow or two, stay well away. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's not wrong. Archers in this game are actually a threat for some reason. Yeah. Because uh, they got that 1 3 range in this game for some reason. It's like, 2 range? Nah, that's not good. How about 1 to 3 range? I think that would, that yeah. would be better. It's like. Oh my god. I mean, it said 1 2, but then they have bow range 1 plus 1. Born, plus, yeah. Yeah, so he just attacks you from anywhere. But we have Lucas and Alm in range, so I think we'll be fine with this archer, but later on they're going to be a huge pain in the butt. Everything else here, as far as I remember, is just a good old brig. And the biggest pain in the ass is when they go back to this uh, this tile right here to heal. Because if they're on this tile, they get 40 avoid and they heal 5 HP every heal. time. Uh... That is annoying. But you can, like, we did it a little bit last map where you took advantage of it a little bit, so maybe we can do that again. Uh, to Hopefully. get the kills to the right people. Um, I looked it up and we have to get the villagers to level 3. So like you said, Grey is already ready to promote. Okay. But um, Cliff needs basically one more level and then a little bit. Uh, Faye needs a little more than that, but still roughly a level. And then um, Tobin is practically there. He just needs a little bit of XP and he's good. So we can take cool. our time with him. And a lot of people might say like you, should, you shouldn't promote people immediately because they will have more levels to gain. If you uh, hold up on promoting them, you get like more stats. But the point is... Like I said last episode, they will just gain up to their class basis of the next class, so generally you won't get much out of it. And they also slow down their EXP gain significantly if you do that, so really you just want to promote ASAP, and that's what we're going to do. So, I've got this. we can just... Oh man, I love, I've got this. I think we just... I've got like, this. I've got this. We just, just get this guy with Alm, and then we'll probably finish him with Lucas. That will be that for him, I think. Yeah, looks yeah. good. We just need to hit, a couple hits, but... Thankfully, hit rates are fairly good on these characters, so let's go for it. Let's go. In the face. Ah, yes. Honestly, even the guided versions of this music is good, but the remix oh, yeah. is fantastic still. Let's go, so Lucas. Done. Yeah, I want to get rid of this guy right away. Because mm -hmm. everything else just attacks at one range, so we just counter them on any phase. Unfortunately, they like put our... Best characters like right at the front here, but then everyone else who needs the EXP is like very far away. Except for Cliff. Yeah. I think we'll just Come start. at me, fools! Yeah, come at me, fools. We'll just put this guy up front. If they want to hit him, they can hit him. Uh, we'll put Cliff like... I don't know, let's see if they can do something here. 
I think it's not worth getting him attacked. I think we'll just keep him right here behind Gray, and then we'll, we'll have the rest ready to go in a turn or so. Stand back. Stand back. Let's go. Uh, Never count now. Tobin out. Wait, he's not an auto end, or am I forgetting someone? I think it should be an auto end. Uh, Oops. Okay, that's what I meant to do anyway. But <laughs> I really wanted to an auto end. I don't want to like have to end my turn every time and be like get a half heart yeah. attack. Let's go on. Nice. This is not a kill for Lucas. Come at me, fools! Come at me, fools! Gray is so good. I love him. Oh, you can move the camera in battle. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so nice. I never use that feature in other games. Alright, let's bonk this guy with Lucas. We get 92 hit. There's no weapon triangle in this game, by the way, in case you guys nope. don't know. So We don't care about Lance for Zax. All we care is Lucas beats at Brigand. Yep. Up to his face. Oh, I thought it was about to crit, but it's just a cool animation. Yeah. Yeah. Shinky I love the Ken. animations in this Shinky game. Ken. There's like... <laughs> a palpable improvement. Mm. Let's go. I mean, we got defense. Yeah, that's something. I'm not really paying attention to my stat girls. Again, not because I'm mecha, but because I know they don't really matter that much. So. <laughs> Tobin doesn't need to kill, but he can get the weaken here for... I bet Cliff or Faye needs his chip damage to finish off, so we can go with that. Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you think that's pain, just hold up. Right, let's go with Faye. I think Faye's like very fragile here, so I want to be careful. She takes 4 damage, so... I assume they all have the same stats. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, it looks about the same. Yeah. So, I think if all three of them attack her, she's still fine. Yeah, that should be the case. If she misses, it might yeah. be a bit of a problem, but she's not gonna miss. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Almost spin. Simple but effective. Nope. Level up. And it's no. nice to get stronger. Yeah. How about you get mm. stronger though? Can we get strength though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if this will kill seven times two. I think I don't think Cliff doubles. No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cheese him a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna weaken him with Gray because he doesn't take much damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will put like Cliff in a forest. If he goes for Cliff, that's fine. But I don't really want to attack with Cliff. I think that could end up poorly. Actually, this guy is gonna run away and heal. I think because he's below half health. I think that's the threshold. Is There's it? No is that, not yeah. to hit him. Okay. Or we could just put him next to Faye. Uh, let's see. What, I don't know, it's half health. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll go like here. I don't know, really. Kind of torn. Let's think here. Mm. Get hit. Okay, he's gonna heal anyway. I'm just gonna weaken him. It's fine. Okay. Crit, let's go. Aw. <laughs> yeah, aw. So close. Hey, hey level up, though. Might, might get him something. Oh, hey. that's actually good. That's actually yeah. good. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. And then, I mean, I don't think any of these guys are going to be dumb enough to attack Alm, but I think I'm going to put Alm nearby just so we can help weaken people. Mm -hmm. uh, but this guy is like, yeah, I don't want to weaken him because then he's going to go for the healing cell. So I'll just put him here. In fact, I'll just put him, yeah, right here is good. I think that will get like multiple people to attack him. Okay, then I want to yeah. have this auto end option off. Smart ends. There we go. It'll be a smart end. End. There you go. Okay, going for Tobin. That's fine. <laughs> Let's try. Okay, almost level three. All right. I was in a force though. Look at how bad my hit rate is when he goes in a force. I think they give like thirty of in this game. It's so stupid. Yeah. All right. Imagine just being a brigand, just trying to kill some kids. He's <laughs> like, yeah, nice try, <laughs> kids. <laughs> Oh wait, he doubles now. He didn't double before, did he? Alright, okay. You got that speed, you got that speed level. Yeah, exactly. And it, oh right, that's because you only need plus one speed to double in this game, so mm -hmm. the threshold is very easy to reach. Okay, yeah. well, Faye doesn't kill, so we're trying to set something else up for Faye. We'll just get this kill with Cliff now. 90 hit, should work out. This game is basically 2RN at above 50 hit. Not quite, it's like a little different, but it's close mm -hmm. to it, so. Well, as long as it's not binding blade. Yeah. RNG bugs. Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's gonna hit this guy in the force. Maybe just leave him alone is better. He's above health, so half health. He should move out to attack me. So maybe what I'll do is I need to have to kill a Faye because she's the most far behind of anyone. Let's see, this is six. So can I do like five times two rank to him? This works. That works, yeah. Yeah. Just move all somewhere else. 
Go with this. Get hit. Whack him in the face. That's right. It's not like like giving ex like Gray is ready to promote, but giving him XP doesn't hurt any, I guess. Well, actually, mm. the level gets reset on my promotion, actually. So it does it does it is a bit of a waste, but not enough to where I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah, <laughs> see? You got it. I got it. You got it. Okay, this Open is it. This is basically risk-free. Because uh, yeah. Lucas takes up no damage from these. Come on. Yes. Nice. I love the animations. It's not. It's not always like the same animations. Like they mix it up. Exactly. That's what I love. I really too. like that. There's not a whole lot of games that do that. I think Path of Radiance has no. like Radiant Dawn has some of it. Like it, it like has different animations depending on when you're coming, like riding in or. Uh, let's just give Tom the force for now. Or when they're like on a horse or not or something and stuff like that. Yeah. It's super cool. Okay, this this better okay. hit. We'll get him. Mm. All right. This is shaping up nicely. Nice. Nice! Okay, we'll probably go for Tobin, I guess. We'll just cover Gray a little bit. Go here. Alright, go for Gray. Respectable. Respectable. I mean, he did say, come at me fools, so this guy probably felt like so, he was being called out. Yeah, he fell for uh, Gray's uh, hidden passive ability uh, taunt. <laughs> Gray for Smash win. Oh, man. I don't actually play Smash, but I like to make jokes sometimes about Smash. Uh, mm. I can ideally feed it to Clayer, Clayer Fifth, <laughs> Clayer. What's his face? <laughs> gray or Cliff, but not, not gray. So basically, ignore everything I just said. Uh -huh. right. dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh, close. Yeah, he's a little tired, but this guy's not in range, so he'll be fine. You just need to fade a hit. Yep. And we'll be good. Nice. Yeah. I forgot. Does uh, does the boss move off his throne? In yeah. Chapter? I think okay. pretty much every enemy in this game moves if you're in their range or like by default. Like every map in this game is routes, and at least they were generous enough to, yeah. to make like every enemy move towards you. Unless it's like some kind of stationary enemy that has like long range tomes and sometimes I think they don't move, but generally I think they move. Mm -hmm. uh, we can bait him with all in this turn actually. We do need to like keep the turn count in mind. We can't just turtle around. I just almost forgot. Yeah, I forgot. It was yeah. pretty. Whoops. It almost got caught off guard, but it's, it's only turn four. We're, we're good. We're yeah. good. Sure. Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go. Cool. I'm ready. I'm still hyper. Let's go. Yeah. Almost 10 crit. Wow. I wonder if he's already... Supports don't even need to build in this game, do they? I don't remember. But I know he has like a support uh... with Fate that gives him crit. So I was wondering if that had been built already. But they've only been together for like one battle. Yeah, I know it's pretty easy to build support in this game. Yeah. Well, we can... We can finish him with Alm. I'd rather finish with someone else though. But Fate's gonna be tricky. Because this is, this is a boss. He does double me. Mm -hmm. It's five. Uh, so we need to like, I need to do like nine damage with someone. Ten damage is fine too. Yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. Actually. Nice. Ready to roll. Let's go get him. <laughs> perfect. All right, Faye, go get him. I think this will get him ready to promote. Yeah, I will. Let's go for it. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything else I can do. Like, I can't really heal anyone or anything, so. Yeah. Let's just finish him off. No! Faye! Oh, stupid girl. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> because you missed. <laughs> because you missed! <laughs> Alright, well you Why have... I have you here, Faye. Yeah. These guys all have four moves, so none of them can reach. That's like the one good thing about so Alma. So we're just gonna have to... Yeah. Alma is the only one with five moves out of these characters, so he's just gonna have to do it. Unless... I'm okay with taking an extra turn, but I don't think I am. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He might even kill Faye. He probably won't because he's in healing mode, but just in case, I'm just gonna finish him off. Take the yeah, full turn and go from definitely there. Definitely have a chance to level her up in the yeah. cave. Yeah, because in the cave, I get like one or two random encounters, which also count again mm -hmm. my turn count, so. Oh, really? Okay. I think so. That's unfortunate. I think so, but it's fine. I mean. But I guess, yeah, that's fair, because. I mean, otherwise, you could just oh, grind up. I'm so glad you yeah. Alright. Once right. so we get some big speed, that might help too. Mm. Yeah, she like she needs some little chip, and then she's ready, basically. She's right there, yeah. Ready to roll. All right, let's hear what they have to, to say. Roll. Well, I suppose that counts as our good deed for the day. <laughs> Sorry, Lucas. My legs were moving before I had a chance to even think. Valor is nothing to be sorry for. Now come, let's find this prisoner they spoke of. They mentioned a shrine. Yes, it must be nearby. A shrine. Give me the shrine. We're going to the shrine. We've only been going for like 50 minutes. So we might as well go for a shrine. 
I guess. What's that shrine? You don't like shrines? Oh, yeah. No, shrines are cool. Stuck in the village. <laughs> shrines like this were built by folks so they had a place to worship Miller. But famine and other problems kind of put a damper on most Sophian's piety. Now they're mostly just home to brigands and the like. Then the woman who was taken captive must be inside. Alright, well, we'll go find her. Let's, let's go find the maiden. A natural cavern built into a shrine to the goddess Mila. Lately, it's become a popular hangout for thieves and ruffians. They're just, they're just hanging out there. They're just hanging out. Are you ready to play some Legend of Zelda? Yeah, I'm sure I'm ready. I love this guy. Get away from me! <laughs> I'm only the stupid watchman! I just watch things! <laughs> People talk about the gatekeeper, but they never, they never talk about this guy. No, it's probably because this guy doesn't appear as often. Okay, so in this game, you can explore dungeons and just kind of cruise through them or fight encounters on the way, find items, find um, gold and like other random stuff. And it's fun. And you get to bring a party along. Yeah. And at some point they get tired and you get annoyed. And their HP gets like cut in half or something. That's kind of annoying. But... You gotta feed them flour. Yeah, you can just give them flour and they'll be back up to good to Only go. flour. Only flour. Nothing else. <laughs> Is this an OnlyFans joke? <laughs> no, we, we, sustain, we sustain them on flour. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we wanna... Let's see, we need like Chip on Tobin. Like one one kill on Cliff and then like chip it with face. So that's all we need out of the battle. So we only need to fight like one battle probably. So uh, just save just in case. I think I already saved, but you never know. And let's uh, let's explore. Let's go play Zelda. Oh man, the enemy right. could be anywhere. We need to proceed carefully. Looking good. Okay, so we can uh, take control and explore our minds freely. This was not in the original. The original just kind of walked around it like a, a top-down view, kind of like yeah, it was top-down kind of like two D. Yeah. yeah, which is also pretty fun. Not gonna lie, but this is mm -hmm. uh, this is cooler looking. Um, oh yeah. How do we advance here? There we go. Tactics. All oh, right, that's the other one. <laughs> basic controls, guys. Basic controls. You make contact with the enemy. Combat will ensue. At any point, its dungeon seems too dangerous. Like evacuate from the main exit. The dungeon. All right. So just have an exit teleport out. Uh, you can like walk and run, I think. Yeah. Dang you can like slash and stuff with your sword. You can't jump or anything. It's foul. I think this no is centering the camera. About the place. Yeah. How could this house to the mother have become such a welcome haven for brigands? No, right? Oh, hello. Oh shit. I think he got me. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's two guys. Okay, but at least they didn't get me first. Okay, so what just happened, I think, is uh, there was like one guy there and it got me instantly. And if someone's um, nearby, then yeah. yeah, then they'll join the battle as well. So that, that, that's this little group right here. And it's like if you're like, yeah, go ahead. Oh, just like Earthbound. Yeah. Have you ever played Earthbound back then? No. <laughs> but... Oh well. Anyways. <laughs> and then, um, if you if you like manage to slash your sword at them, then you'll get like uh, a bit of damage on them, and you'll be able to move first. But if they get hit on you, uh, then they will get to move first, which is like a little dangerous. Uh, but most of these counters are pretty trivial. Uh, these guys only have like seven or eight attack apparently, so they won't do much damage to me as long as I'm a little bit careful. Uh, so we'll just like put Lucas at the front here. Lucas needs to speed the most out of anyone, I think, because uh, well, basically he has to promote at like level seven, I think, or so. So he only he takes the most work to get going. So we'll just put him like here, and then Alm can be again the guy that like weakens people for other people. So we'll just put him here. And again, he's like six defense, so they won't do much to him at all. Come and me, Gray, I don't even want to get each speed. I'll just put the rest of them close, so they can just like get their levels that they need from this encounter. Stand back! Stand back! Stand back. Uh oh. <gasps> One, you're so damage. confident. Who the the villagers? Both. <laughs> Both. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty impressive. It's like their first day, and they're just like, "Hey, come at me, fools!" It's like we just left the village. Jeez. Yeah, it wasn't Tobin initially like kind of hesitant until he like learned that he could get money. Now he's like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's earn some money." Hey, never go. count Tobin out. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, Mini Jagan. Oh my god. Yeah, Mini, pretty much. Oh well, shit! Yes. Oh me, yes. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Almost so expressive. I love him. Yeah. Lucas. Lucas the Tink Master. I think in this game the minimum damage enemies can do is actually one, not zero. One, yeah, they can't do zero. No, it is zero, yeah. yeah. Uh, not zero, sorry, it uh it yeah. is one. Yep. 
So, uh, Lucas isn't just like right on the cusp, he just. Uh, he probably would just take zero damage, because his base defense is like eight, I think. Yeah. Uh, that's actually six. Six. Oh, and they have seven attack. Interesting. So. Uh, I don't know how to happen then. Maybe it's like a different guy. Maybe hard mode, I don't know. <laughs> must be, it must be, be clever mode, yeah. <laughs> clever true. Okay, actually I'm a little confused how he's I guess he's getting like a support bonus off of someone, but it didn't activate a support with him yet, so... Maybe... I don't know how to happen. Someone in the comment section will tell me, I'm curious. Okay, so we want to kill... at least a kill on uh, Cliff. He does double now, so that'll be pretty easy. Nice. Doesn't take much damage either. Get it up. Oh, Get it up. <laughs> that's what Man I heard. Me. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what he said. <laughs> I thought he said give it up. Yeah. I think he did say give it up. All right, okay. <laughs> give All right. it up. Now you hate me. You got speed again, by the way. Not bad. I'm telling you, speed demon yeah. uh, cliff. Definitely with that massive force speed. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Tobin's fast too. Yeah, I think he already like doubled before last chapter, but hey, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like the second best behind Gray when it comes to base stats. So I'm not surprised to see him double right away. Here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, not bad. Yeah, I don't know if these matter, but if they do matter, that's fun. All right, so he's ready to class change yeah. as well. Nice. And we'll get this, uh, we need to kill on, we need to like chip on Faye, but a kill would be cool too. She doesn't double yet. She's a win. Um, <laughs> she she got doubled by this guy. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> okay, the only this guy up there is the only one that doesn't double her. So we have to like take out the other two, I think. And leave them last yeah. onto to her. So we just took this guy out. Exact damage. <gasps> nice. It's my turn now. It's my turn now. No way, please. No please. I really don't know what level he promotes at. He might need another level after. I this. think he's a seven, right? I don't know. It's actually pretty far away, oh, isn't it? More defense. Yeah, you ready? There you go. Nice. There you go. It's not ready. There you go. There you go. Actually, like, you're really curious what level he promotes at now. Because if, if I can get him promoted this this thing, that would be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Maybe Soldier. Five, six, seven? Five, six, seven. Any classics of mm -hmm. Villager and Dreadfighter and level one? No. Um, villager and... Oh, there we go. Level seven. Yeah, that's it. It is level seven. Got it. So that means he has like ways to go. I don't know if I'm like, I don't know if I can do that while staying with like kind of low on turns. I like getting Lucas promoted quickly, but not at the cost of like all my turns. They are getting some kind of support bonus because if you look at the at the left side, you see mm -hmm. like their little faces pop up. I think that's a support bonus. Yeah. I no, think. I think I think you're right. You never know though. Like I said, it's we'll a journey of re-exploration and rediscovery. Oh. No. Nice. Shake dash. Ah! Oh, <laughs> poor, poor Brigand. Yeah. You're a little enthusiastic. I know there's like, there's like a boss battle actually, after this actually. I, I just remembered. Yeah, the Brigand boss. Everyone's yeah, the Brigand characters. boss, exactly. I love the Brigand yeah. boss. So that, that battle is going to be like, feed every kill to Lucas that we can. <laughs> Alright, so Faye got our chip. Nice. Okay, so we'll just... I'm getting better at reading the enemy. Yeah, good job. Mm -hmm. Yay, the right to class change has been earned. This really is the earn. Oh. Okay, he just goes for it nice. too. Uh, okay. I actually didn't keep track of the turn count, but I think it's like two turns? Uh, I want to get two or three, I want to say. Yeah, I think so too. I'll just check the photo. Hopefully two. Yeah, okay. Two, it was like, nice. It was in view like very briefly there, I think. You make it look easy, Elm. You make it look easy. It's not... He's yeah. the main character. Yeah, he's a good character. Okay. Yeah. It actually is pretty smart to like take on two at once if you're like going for long turn counts, I think. Because then you, if, like, if you find the other one too. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Alright, the fatigue thing. I mean, it's basically like if they fight too much, they get tired. <laughs> and then they like worse in battle. But you can cure it with like any food. Oh, there's another guy there. We don't want to fight him. So... Uh, are we going to go for the room on the left? or? Uh, I mean, we kind of have to, right? I mean, I want to ha see what's in it, so... Let's go for it, I guess. Surprise Brigand! Da -da -da -da. Surprise Brigand, yeah, probably. Uh, I wanna, I wanna slash this stuff because uh, I have to treasure. Yeah. The Brigand's probably gonna not gonna <gasps> like it. That was a, you got a rupee. Gonna get those rupees. I'm gonna miss like a bunch of shit in these things. I'm just gonna warn everyone who's watching it. I'm gonna miss a bunch of stuff. 
Ugh, why did you go to the secret chasm behind the room? You missed out on all- <laughs> You can't break this shit, okay. I think it, when you like, use your sword to like, it make, makes noise and if it brings sometimes get attracted to it. So, yeah. Um... Kind of want to, it's like a bridge between Zelda and Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> this is nothing right? Oh, there's another silver coin. And the coins are used for forging weapons later, so I do want those. Mm -hmm. You can forge some seriously good weapons in this game. Okay, you didn't see me. Let's go on through here. I don't know if there's another room or not. No, I think it's the. F there we go. Yeah. Uh, what do you <gasps> think, little rats it's want? him. Bot of the beat. I mean, uh, <laughs> brigand boss. So this is the legendary brigand boss. You got nerve barging in here just as I was getting to the main event. Kill him, boys, and be creative about it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Make a painting. Yeah. So, remember how I just said that every map in this game is route? This is like the only boss kill in the, in the map, or in the game, besides uh, like the final chapter. Everything else is route, but this one for some reason is beat the commander. It wasn't in the original either. So, I guess we'll just have to fight our way through normally. All, all the more reason to love him. Yeah. Let's see, these are all level 1, so they're like the same stats. The Brigham boss is a little stronger, he has uh, 10 attack, but he's not that much stronger. So Lucas, yeah. we could probably just send Lucas in here, call it a day. Because uh, he won't get worn down fast at all. He's, he takes like one damage and he, he doesn't have a thing with him though. I guess that is one thing I could have given him. I don't I think he does need like every kill here to get to level 7 in time. And I don't think he, even with that he will make it, but we'll see. We'll see if he can do it. I'm, I'm, I want to see Lucas do it. Let's go. Let's go, mm. Lucas. Go, Lucas. You can do it. Well, it's actually taking three from this guy. Yeah, the archer had like 10 attack. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I saw that, but I didn't realize it. This guy has three. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Bring him boss. Oh, this is actually gonna take a while. You barely get to hear the boss music, actually. Yeah. I mean, a lot of bosses are just like kind of generic, anyways. So I'll take oh, what yeah. I, can, I can get. Uh, whoa, Mecha, are you calling Brigand Boss generic? Like, hey, he's got a family. <laughs> I said most. He's the exception. Okay. That proves the rule. There's no healing tile here, I think. So I don't think they have like retreat AI. So we'll probably just like keep trying to hit these guys. I actually should have put him in a different spot. I forgot to like rabble up from him, so he can't be attacked from four spots, which is a bit annoying. And oh. I don't think Lucas is gonna be able to solo this at all, actually. So I'm gonna have to like have some help in here. I'm gonna have uh, press the on button. Yeah, press the on button exactly. I don't mind pressing the on button for a little bit. Oh yeah. Can, uh, get these guys out of our hair a little bit. Get him. This guy also does not even damage. close. Freaking, freaking slimy boys. Come at me, fools. Come at me, fools. Slimy boys. Like safe heaven here for our frail villagers, because I don't want them to have to face the brigand boss. They're not ready. Oh yeah, no, that would. There you go. I, I guess it's just another opportunity to get like level up stats on Grey. Who doesn't love a strong man? Mm -hmm. mm. An like, attack. Yeah, that strength is definitely above his. Uh, this villager base, or the, the mercenary base, so that will help. So move you guys in here. I know where you're going. Yeah, no. Uh, I guess you can go in a corner. I actually feel more comfortable having her with my other characters, so we'll just move her here. And we'll see if Lucas can hold up still. It's uh, getting a little dicey, actually. I should have given him a healing item, probably. Okay, that's a good dodge. Yeah, that, that helps a lot, actually. And then this guy, I can kill him like over the course of like, two turns. And everything else should go down. Ideally, he gains like defense soon. Right, we'll get rid of this guy then. This guy's definitely dead next turn. Get him all. I guess now that, now that everyone is ready for promotion, I guess the best person to feed kills to is actually all. Almost as if someone's watching over me. Uh. Or Gray. Gray works. Did Alm just break the fourth wall? Uh. I think it just said it's Mila watching over me, right? Something. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's a little fourth wall. It's like three and a half wall. Yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely no retreat AI. So that's a kill for Lucas. No thank you required. All right, thanks, Lucas. I know you said I didn't have to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, hit, hit, hit the guy, hit the guy again. God, so good. Okay, this guy's gonna suicide no matter what. I can't really save myself from him. If I hit him, that actually works out pretty well, I think. 
So I'm probably gonna do that in the end. Let's see, I'm gonna take three. And then uh, three for take, the archer. So. Yeah. Because the archer does hey, do two, right? Let's see, ten. Three. Hmm, I actually don't remember how much the archer does, but I think it does two. But let's say he does three, just in case. Okay, so this guy's doing one, so I'm going down to ten. This guy's doing three, so I'm going down to seven. This three again on any phase, so that's down to four. Okay, this archer's not doing four damage to me, no way. No, no, he's so not. That should work. Sure, I'm going to do here. Sure, take this kill. Take that. Take that. <laughs> that. <laughs> Twirl. <laughs> so chill. Gotta flex on him. Yeah. I'm, I'm always in favor of flexing on people. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we'll take, give this one to Alm. So we can't sneak up on Lucas. I want to see if there's a way I can give food to Lucas without him dying. I don't know if there is one, though. Give him flour. Yeah. I mean, flour, food is all the same thing. I don't think there's a way without exposing <laughs> Faye. So he's just going to have to live with the fact that he's going to take a counterattack. Um, he, he should be fine. Yeah, I think he's fine, too. Actually, if I go, like, here... Because the archer had like four moves and one to three ranges, like one, two, three, four. Mm. One, two, three. So if I go here, the archer cannot attack him. I think I'm gonna go for that. Okay. I, so it's also gonna take a little bit of time for the archer to like be killed by him because he keeps attacking the enemy face without getting countered. So in this way, I might be able to feed him like flour or something. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, he loves that flour. You gotta have that flour. Yeah, I gotta have that flour. How much would we have, big boss? Uh, he has four. Okay, so we can always outrange him some way. And I want to have Alm... Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I'm going to give Alm the carrot. In this game, you can only hold one item per like, character, so... Inventory management is pretty trivial most of the time, but you can do some cool things with it. So... Breaking boss coming in hot again. Good hit. Okay, get some XP, please. Oh, I, I had to block everyone from attacking. That's cool. Alright, cool, whatever. I don't care. Let's, uh, let's go get some... Uh, Let's go get some stuff. Let's go get a, a bread. Uh, yep, get it and use it. That was refreshing. That's refreshing. Hey. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know bread had two uses. Is it? Huh. Yeah, oh, leftover bread. Leftover yeah, bread. <laughs> it does. Wow, That's I forgot cool. about that. I didn't know that. That's really funny, yeah. It's gonna have so many cute little things like that. Okay, you can just stay here and chill, I guess. Alright, Lucas. I bet Lucas is gonna be fatigued after this. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah. So next turn I'm gonna finish off the Brigham boss probably. Hopefully. I mean you never know with the Brigham boss. <laughs> yeah. The guy's a wild card. Yeah. Take it out. Yeah. Get him. And then the other guy should be dead after this? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That was close. That was close. Nice. So I might have to revisit the shrine anyway with Lucas if I wanna promote him, but I could just like avoid it. Oh, nice. oh not nice. bad. Nice. I wonder if this will make a difference. Okay, this did cut me that like a couple turns, but you know, it's fairly flexible. I really want to level up Lucas. You know, since I'm not taking that much damage from him, like three, I could go mm -hmm. for the archer first, save a turn. And this guy does three, does three in enemy phase. Mm. Okay, they're both doing three, right? Yeah, they're both doing three. Yeah. So this guy will do three to me and then die. And this guy will do three to me now and do an enemy phase. Another three. I actually die over the course of three turns like that, I think. Okay, I'm gonna just Yeah. I could just I could just weaken the boss I just kill boss with him now and then have someone else help him with the archer. I think that's better. Yeah. Probably better. Yes. Kill him. Yes! Lucas Power. I I've been defeated. <laughs> So when is this guy getting in heroes again? Hopefully soon. Oh, he got something. He got that ram wine. Brigham boss for CYL. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll keep him. Oh, oh yeah, we can give him. Oh well, right, it's the it's I the kill boss. I forgot. Okay, that's fine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine too. That means I just saved a turn, I guess. Nice. He wasn't that. I wouldn't have gotten to level seven anyway off of this battle, so it's fine. It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. I have no idea Excellent. how what that turn count was though. So we'll see. Maybe four. All right. Oh. <gasps> okay. So uh, we're done here, right? There's nothing to do here, I think. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're done. All right. Captive woman. Miss, are you all right? Say something. Uh, uh, who, who are you? How did I get here? You're in a shrine. Some brigands kidnapped you and took you here. Don't worry, they're gone. 
We dealt with them before they could do you any harm. I see. Thank you, sir. After those ruffians seized me, I, I passed out. Ugh. I don't want to think about it. What's your name? I am Silk. I hail from a priory far to the east, on the island of Novus. So, uh, Silk. What brings a woman of the cloth like you so far from home? <gasps> My mission? I nearly forgot. I must find a man named Sir Myson. Are we far from Ram Village? Are you serious? Ram's our home. Sir Myson is my grandfather. What? You're Sir Myson's grandson? <gasps> May I see that mark on your left hand? What? This? Sure. Pretty strange for a birthmark, huh? And that's not even the weirdest part. A long time ago, a girl in my village had the same mark on her hand. So you're the one she... Huh? What is it, Silk? Sir Ulm, I have something for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Please, <laughs> take this. All right, but... What is it? It's called Millis Turnwheel. It's a relic that contains some of the Earth Mother's power. I believe it will be of great use to you. Are you sure? You were supposed to give this to my grandfather, right? No, this is definitely for you. Now that you have left your village and embarked upon an auspicious journey, the turn wheel will become a vital tool during the trials ahead. Okay. Well, thank you. I promise to take good care of it. By the way, how do you use it? <laughs> you don't use it. It uses you. <laughs> it's from <Russia>. Russia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 what is this constantly <laughs> called? <laughs> In Valencia, <laughs> Turnwheel uses you. <laughs> when the time is right, the Turnwheel will give you a sign. Yeah, or we could just tell when, when your character is dead. <laughs> God. Okay. I'm not sure I understand, but I'll take your word. <gasps> <gasps> it appears that Mother Milla already wishes to show you something. <sighs> the Turnwheel. It's glowing. It's gonna evolve. What's happening? <laughs> Where am I? <gasps> oh shit. That's Sophia Castle. This is our kingdom? What happened here? Is the deliverance too late? The consequences of Ming's Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Owen, what did you see? It was... It was so clear. <laughs> Silk. Uh, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is guy just just promoted everyone into soldiers, and, and they all died. <laughs> Why? Be calm. What you saw in the vision is not the present. The mother is either telling you what could be, or what once was. Her power is sight. So the vision is something that's going to happen. Something that could happen. So basically, it's worthless. <laughs> it's like cold reading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. If the vision was ill-boding, perhaps it was a sign. A sign that the mother wishes for you to take action in order to prevent it. <sighs> Yay! Woo! We got... Ah, Sir Ulm. Uh, oh, in sorry. my travels, no, 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 I witnessed the sorry state of our kingdom. What were you gonna say? Uh... Trying to think of what is the terminal mechanic of three houses? Yeah, divine pulse. I divine pulse. Wait, divine pulse. <laughs> I actually, like when, when when three houses first came out, everyone called divine pulse like Midas turn wheel because everyone was used to that. And now everyone's mm -hmm. been playing three houses for like fifty thousand hours, and I, and I, I actually had trouble remembering yeah. what it was called in this game. <laughs> yeah, 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 oh man. But it's the same thing. You can like reset the battle Pretty, a little yeah. bit, go back a little bit in time if you lost someone, so you don't have to like full reset, which is very nice for let's plays. I gotta tell you. Oh, for sure. With no goddess to bless them. And no king to rule. Most Sophians are at a loss. And I, for one, refuse to stand by and watch them suffer. I would ask for permission to accompany you on your quest. Alright, well, you can come with me anytime. Or do you want to see the no dialogue? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Fuck you. Very well. Bye. Oh. That was not the answer I was hoping for. <laughs> but I shall respect your decision. Even before she vanishes, you just don't get her. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait, wait, yes. so I was just kidding. Wait. Do you require my assistance? Well, alright, alright, okay, okay, you can call me. Yes. 
Yay! Yay! A healer. Yeah, healer and warper in a little bit. That's true. Oh, we gotta train mm -hmm. her first, like quite a lot. She's like super fragile with 18 HP and one defense, and the only spell she has is Nosferatu, which is garbage hit rate. I think it's like 50% consistently. Uh, it's not affected mm -hmm. by terrain, but generally it's gonna be like pretty bad at hitting stuff. And, yeah, pretty inaccurate. Yeah, and in this game where you can heal other people, um, spells like offensive spells and defensive spells or healing spells like recover, they cost a little bit of HP, so they're limited. And she can get that yep. HP back with Nosferatu, but that can be unreliable. But training her is going to be very important to get warp going, give my guys some more mobility. And I'm definitely going to use Silk for like quite a bit. That's going to be great. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, this shrine doesn't have like a secret pass or anything, right? It's just like the last few things in here. Uh, I think. Let's examine this I... a little bit. Get that Mila Idol. We'll get some mad herbs. Mad herbs. Get that herb. Dank herbs. Herb. And uh, well, we just took this, I guess. Yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you actually gotta do this, I guess. Welcome Very good, Maddie. I am a servant of Mila. Mila. Present to me those who are worthy. Alright, let's By promote. By my master's will, shall I bestow upon them new power? Yeah, let's go. Let's promote our villagers. So in the original, you talk to this, this kind of statue and you just randomly pick a class for you, like, yes or no. It's just like, sometimes it's like, hey, do you want to promote uh, great to soldier? And you just say no, and it's like, do you want to promote great to soldier? No. Do you want to promote great <laughs> to mage? No. Do you want to promote no. great to soldier? No. And just no. keep going until you get like the class you want. So Re I did. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's super annoying. And I love that. Yeah, I make offering cures your fatigue, which is kind of worthless because you can just like if go out and evacuate. But I'm gonna change class. Yeah. And we're ready to promote four villagers right now. So we're gonna get some mercenary gray to fix the speed a little bit. Get that plus six speed bonus. Mercenary oh like one of the best classes in the game to promote into ends up in the dread fighter class. Look at that skill and helpful. speed. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Mercenary Grey. I love that like, they take a Neo. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's that Mercenary Grey. Well, here goes nothing. Kind of the basic here bitch choice, nothing. but hey, it works. Hey! <laughs> nothing wrong with Merc. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't and fix then... It. I'm gonna go with the Mage Tobin to take advantage of his good ability to learn like Physic and Excalibur. Both are like so good, way too good to pass mm -hmm. up. So we're gonna go with that Mage Tobin. Definitely want to Mage for one of the next maps where you gotta like hit people on terrain. Because magic ignores terrain while you're hitting people. So people want a forest that get like that 30 avoid bonus, we could just ignore that now. Yep. And yep. uh. Indoor maps also give people 20 avoid, so that's also very good for magic use. Plus it's just I nice to hit this. people with low uh, resistance, which is like everyone. Yeah. Nobody has res in this game pretty yeah. much, except like... Get this fire. It's... And then uh, Faye is definitely going to go Cleric, because that's the only way yep. to get another healer. And that way we can heal Silk after she's healed someone else. So we can set up like a little yep. heal chain. And they can keep healing each other, it's gonna be super good. And of course, she doesn't get warp, but she gets rescue later, I think. And then, uh, like you said, the uh, the move again thing. Again, yeah. And there was one more thing she got that was like interesting. I think it's just the healing spells mostly, though. Does she get the the summoning thing? Summon, invoke, yeah, I think yeah. she does. Because yeah. I know the different clerics have like different invokes, like they summon yeah. different uh, classes. Yeah. One of them can summon dread fires. Yeah, <laughs> that's I right. I which one. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, there you go, got Recover Nosferatu, just like Silk, so we have two healers now. And then Cliff is like the one I'm most unsure on. I generally don't even end up like using Cliff beyond like part three because he has so ends up being so unlevel, but I'm gonna try to use him this time. I really want to. Mm -hmm. And I mean Cavalier I did it last time, it was like pretty underwhelming because the stats are so bad and the like, extra move is nice until like yeah. he just gets a hat and then gets his axe kicked and he just have to move him back, it's kinda of worthless. Mm -hmm. Soldier is not much of a point to a soldier because the class is just not very good. Um, we have Lucas, who's like forced to be one. But it's like mm -hmm. it's like he promoted the knight and then to baron, which is like super defensive. But other than that, not yep. much of a purpose to it. Uh, we already have a mercenary and a mage, so I think the natural choice is just to make him an archer. Uh, he'll have like pretty <laughs> shitty speed, but archer got that three range going on. I think that's gonna be super cool. So we're gonna go with archer cliff. Yeah, when he becomes like a bow knight, it's gonna get like yeah. hunter's volley and crazy stuff like that. Yeah, late game bow knights are like the best class in the game. With like they have like one four or one five range or something. It's yeah, it's crazy. The movement, like, oh my god. And this game is like, 
it has like Hunter's Volley that's basically the same from three houses, and you have like the Killer Bow for like extra crit and a lot of accuracy. Mm -hmm. Too good to pass up. So we'll take that. Oh yeah, Forging. Yeah. I forgot about Forging. Yeah. That'll be fun. I don't remember exactly when you get access to Forging in Elm's Route, but I know in Seleka's Route you get it like somewhat early maybe? I actually don't remember. Maybe it's part, yeah, part three only. Part three, yeah. Yeah, actually it, it takes yeah, a part while. three, part three, for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, we could just like force steel bows into that and that would be super good. Mm -hmm. Alright. And um, I think we're gonna like wrap it up here. There might be like something left to do here that I can just like do off screen real quick if I forgot. Um, but this episode has gone on like pretty long enough. We've done like a ton of stuff today. I'm pretty happy yep. with that. Uh, next time we'll continue on and we'll take on the Empire one step at a time. One step in Super Mario Land at a time. <laughs> so until then, we will see you next time. Peace out. Take care, guys.